Welcome back students, we are now down to our last lesson for this quarter. Lesson 15 is about selecting relevant literature. Answer first the following questions. Number 1. How important is reading books, articles, journals, and researches in writing a research paper? Why? Number 2. Do you think that the sources you visit when looking for information about your research topic are reliable and credible? Why? Literature is an oral or written record of man's significant experiences that are artistically conveyed in a prosaic manner, embodied in any literary work like essay, novel, journal, story, biography, and many more are man's best thoughts and feelings about the world. This recorded or preserved the world perceptions of man are expressed directly and indirectly. Direct expressions of man's knowledge are found in books, periodicals, and online reading materials, while indirect expressions are his inferences or reflections of his surroundings that are not written or spoken. A review of related literature is an analysis of man's written or spoken knowledge of the world. You examine representations of man's thinking about the world to determine the connection of your research to with what people already know about it. In your analysis or reading of recorded knowledge, you just do not catalog ideas in your paper but also interpret them or merge your thinking with the author's ideas. Purposes of Review of Related Literature To obtain background knowledge of your research To relate your study to the current condition or situation of the world To show the capacity of your research work to introduce new knowledge to expand, prove or disprove the findings of previous research studies, to avoid repeating previous research studies, to increase your understanding of the underlying theories, principles, or concepts of your research, to explain technical terms involved in your research study, to highlight the significance of your work with the kind of evidence it gathered to support the conclusion of your research, to recommend the necessity of further research on a certain topic. The review of related literature consists of three elements. The introduction, which explains the organizational method of the literature review. The headings and subheadings, which indicates the right placement of your supporting statements. And the synthesis, or the conclusion, which concisely restate your main point. Here is a shortened sample of a review of related literature. Identify the elements of the RRL structure. The title is Living with with chronic illnesses, how are those with chronic illness treated by their families since their diagnosis? Look for the introduction, the headings and the subheadings, and then lastly, the synthesis. In Part B, you have to research online for at least 5 credible websites for research. Write the website name, for example, Google Scholar and the website URL, scholar.google.com. Note that not everything you see uploaded on the internet are credible and reliable, so you have to be careful. Read researches and studies only from these credible websites. In the application portion, we will practice how you will review your literature. Fill in the table with the information about the sources that you will be using in drafting your review of related literature. Write your research title and then on the first column, write your research topic keywords or your variables. The second column, write the title of your source, the article, journal, or the research title. And then on the third column, write the name of the author, title of the book, and your source. For example, my topic keyword or my variable is new normal education. I decided to read and include in my review of related literature the study entitled The COVID-19 Pandemic Through the Lens of Education in the Philippines, The New Normal. Now, in the third column, I cited there the author of the study who is Jose Z. Tria and the website where I got his study. The more researches and studies you include in your RRL, the more enriched and grounded your paper will become. 
In Part B, you have to write a three-paragraph sample of your review of related literature. Here is a sample RRL from my paper entitled Assessment of Parental Perception and Involvement Towards Inclusive Education, which I wrote in 2019. I have keywords and variables which are parental perception, parental involvement, and inclusive education. Now, this part is under the variable inclusive education. The notion of integrating learners with sense or special educational needs in a mainstream school is known as inclusive education. I first defined inclusive education. This term denotes the method of educating children with sense in a regular classroom setting around a neighborhood where they benefit and enjoy the privilege of a regular school system that suits their learning needs if they are not subscribed with any disabilities. And then I cited the author, Referti et al. 2001. Literature demonstrates that inclusive education is developmentally strong for all learners and reported positive evidence of social, emotional, and educational gains that come from school. And then I cited all the authors who proved this data is true. There is Anderson, Copeland, Frizzee, Helmstetter, McDonnell, and Pitsma. It is very important in your RRL to cite the author where you got that certain statement or phrase. If there is only one author, then place there his surname, comma, and then the year when his study was published or done. If there are multiple authors, then write there their surnames or the surname of the major proponent and then write at dot all and then comma the year when the study was published and written. Aside from citing the author in your RRL, you also have to include that source in your bibliography or list of resources. For example, here are the sources where I got my content for this module. That's all for lesson 15. Do not forget to answer your post test that is a multiple choice item test. Congratulations! See you again next quarter. Thank you for watching.